In this video we're going to be having a look at real-time SEO. We're going to install the real-time SEO module. We're going to have a look at the at edit page with its integration and we're going to have a look at the content overview page. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and in it we're going to be downloading and installing the real-time SEO module. So on drupal.org slash project slash yo asked SEO we see the page of real-time SEO and we're going to as always copy this bit and jump to our terminal and go to the page with the composer JSON and we're going to simply run composer require Drupal slash the name of the module. Perfect. So we downloaded the real-time SEO module, but something interesting here that happened is also that it downloaded for us the meta tag module and the token module. They are as dependencies of the real-time SEO module and it's actually using them. I will show you how. So let's jump back to our Drupal instance, jump to extend and search for real-time SEO. So we click and we install. It confirms that we want to install also the meta tag and the token modules. Perfect. So let's now go ahead and have a look at the real-time SEO module as we're creating new content. We jump to the content page and add content and let's create an article. And what's interesting that is coming from the real-time SEO is basically this massive field here and what it asks us is it asks us to specify the focus word. So let's focus on Drupal 8 videos. So we want to optimize our page for these keywords and it creates a small checklist and it makes sure that we are making this page as juicy and as tasty as possible for the search engines. So for example, it asks us to have this keyword at least in the title so let's go ahead and add it in the title and then it asks us to have text here which should be relatively long text let's go ahead and create like three paragraphs and let's put our keyword once in each paragraph so that it emulates that the paragraphs are actually talking about our focus keyword. And as you see here, it's already a bit happier because it finds that we're actually using this keyword in the correct places. It actually would like if we have in our meta tag. So let's go ahead and copy this sentence as meta tag description and it's now much much happier as you see here the light turned green which indicates we're doing a good job also it really likes if we have a image here with alternative text so let's go ahead and upload a image this image for example and as alternative text let's go ahead and say something Drupal 8 videos and now as you see it's much much happier of course you could go ahead and check each of these points once again and make sure that everything is green which would make your page super super nice for the search engines but actually I'm 
even happy as it's now so let's go ahead and save it and yeah it's creating the page properly and if you go to the content page you have your content listed and actually here there is a really nice field that shows the real-time SEO score for each of the notes that you're creating what I like to do here is I like to push it a bit left for example I'll just quickly edit the content overview page I like to have it next to the title if I save now and if we refresh the content we see that here it looks a bit nicer in my opinion and this is how you could use the real-time SEO module if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching